Welcome back everyone, Oz here. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And today we've got the 13th episode of r slash Entitled Parents. Entitled Parent defends her son being pervy in swimming changing room. So you all know how this works. I'm a teenage girl and was 14 at the time of the story. I do a full session at the local pool very often. It's basically a public swim with an inflatable thingy at the back of the deep end for people to play on. The changing rooms are two separate rooms, one for men and women. There's a small section for the showers and the rest are cubicles with curtains instead of doors for changing in. After getting changed, it's required that you leave the curtain open so that people know it's vacant. Often there are young boys in the women's changing rooms because mothers can't go into the men's with their sons, but under 13s can't go alone. One particularly busy day, my mother and I were changing on completely different sides of the room, and I was just about to take off my shirt when a hand grabs the curtain and attempts to pull it open. I yelped slightly and grabbed the curtain, pulling it back to see who was doing this. A kid who looked like he was old enough to be alone in the men's, but younger than me, was there. I frowned as I worry about getting watched while getting changed a little too much. Reading stories about cameras and double-sided mirrors and dressing rooms at stores, etc and say in a fairly loud and stern voice, if the curtain is closed, it's being used. I am changing here. Don't try to come in, before semi-violently closing the curtain. I was in my bra and leggings when I noticed a hand close to the bottom of the curtain. In hindsight, he was probably doing this to seem less noticeable. I jumped down and grabbed Entitled Kid's hand, pushing him away while trying to hide the fact I was in my bra by using the other hand to hold the curtain. Now, extremely frustrated, I yell, go away, I'm in here. After a second or two, I grab my towel and cover up, waiting for the kid to try again. After a couple minutes, I decide that it's stupid to waste my time and continue to change. Surprisingly enough, uninterrupted by the entitled kid. I walked out my swimsuit and sat on a small waiting bench near the door to the pool, as this particular place waited until most people had finished changing to let us in. After a while, entitled kid and his mom come over in swimsuits, sitting down next to me. I felt uncomfortable, sure, but entitled parent was in between him and I, so not much could happen, right? Well... No, because while I was watching the curtain of my mom's cubicle for her to come out, I feel a hand on my chest. I slap it away and this is what follows. What the hell do you think you're doing, creep? Excuse me, what did you just call my son? He was trying to open my curtain when I was changing earlier, and you can't tell me you didn't see him lean across you to grab my chest just now. The least he deserves is to be called a damn creep. He was just playing around. He's a little kid. How dare you try to discipline him? A little kid? He looks like he could be using the men's by now. How old is he? He's 13. Not like I need to explain that to you. Or do I, considering how stupid and dramatic you're acting? If he's 13, then he should be in the men's. Besides, I'm 14 and I know how to respect people. He should too. I'm his mother. I know better than you that he cannot be alone in the men's changing rooms. Did you try to open her curtain to touch her, sweetie? No, ew. See? Stop lying for attention. You've got to be kidding me. You sat there while he leaned over you to touch my chest. At this point, my mom was walking over, confused. How dare you yell at me? I am an adult woman. You should respect your elders. Haven't your parents or teachers told you this yet? Well, maybe you or your kids' teachers should tell him not to try to grab my tits. Now my mom was here and very angry. Is this true? Oh, you're the mother. Well, teach her some manners. She's got a crush on my son and is pretending that he was touching her. I know 100% that's a lie. My daughter has a boyfriend, so there's no way she could like him. Not to mention, she's not some kind of pathological liar, unlike you. I hate to break it to you, but he's not some kind of perfect little angel. Ah, uh, how dare you? Continues into tangent about parenting and her perfect son. My mother mentioned for me to follow her and we left the changing rooms and asked the receptionist for some help. They both got kicked out and had some kind of ban applied to both of them. I'm not sure if it was permanent or not, but nothing special happened apart from that. But then again, he was just 13 years old, so I don't know if much could have been done about it. Entitled parent tries to steal my baby. Okay, well she didn't try to steal him per se. Goddamn clickbait. So I'm a 19 year old girl and I have a 7 month old son. Not uncommon, but he still usually gets mistaken for my brother, child, I am babysitting. I took him to a soft play area nearby on my own and we were having a great time. He was playing with the blocks and just having fun. A woman came in who had two girls around 6 to 8 and sat near me and my son. 
It's at this point my son starts to cry, he was hungry, and the entitled mother turns to me and asks if his mom was around, to which I tell her I am his mom. She looks shocked and says, Do you know what's wrong with him? Yes, he'll be hungry. Do you know how to feed him? I was completely shocked by this because even if I was babysitting, I would know how to feed him. Plus, he is 7 months old so I think I would have fed him at least once before. I didn't say anything and just pulled out his bottle and fed him in my arms. Since there's a lot of things going on around us, he was very distracted and would move away from the bottle to look at something and cry because he has no bottle. Very frustrating. Entitled Mother then says, I can feed him for you. At this point, I'm just screaming what the fuck repeatedly in my head. I politely declined and told her I know what he's like. She then starts to get a bit aggressive saying I'm too young to look after him and I clearly can't cope with being a single mother. I'm not single but my boyfriend was at work. I couldn't believe what she was saying and got ready to leave. I picked up my baby and put him in the pram. He was screaming as his feet had now been disturbed. I gathered our things that were on the floor right by the pram, and as I turned around, the woman was unstrapping my son in an attempt to take him out. I full on screamed at her to stop, and an employee saw what was happening and ran over immediately and asked her to leave. She refused as her two kids were playing and she didn't want to stop them. I said it was fine and I just leave instead as I wanted to get home again. I was so incredibly scared of what could have happened even though I'm fairly sure she just wanted to help. I haven't been back there since. Okay, so while granted this was a pretty clickbaity title and it even got me, um, I do gotta say it's definitely not okay to reach into someone else's pram slash stroller and take the child out because that is, that is unbelievably not okay in any circumstance. I don't care if your daughter is disabled, my child is too sleepy to walk. Backstory, my daughter is disabled. She has nonverbal autism and TBI, traumatic brain injury, which means she looks relatively normal, but she is profoundly disabled. I rarely take her out into public alone because she is so hard to manage, especially now that she is almost nine. Not only will she not stay with me, she will bolt like a greyhound, scream, rip things open, steal toys from babies, and otherwise be an impossible nuisance. For this reason, I almost always order what I need for delivery, including groceries. However, life is unpredictable sometimes and I, every so often, have to brave a trip to the grocery store. A few years ago, the gods smiled down on me when the local grocery store I prefer started using the Caroline cart. If you don't know what that is, it's a special cart with a large seat for disabled children who are too big for the toddler seat. They park it with the scooters and wheelchairs with a big blue handicap marker on it so that parents don't mistakenly use it for their older, able-bodied children, but admittedly, this doesn't seem to stop them. I see people using it all the time like one of the car carts. Carts with a toy car attached for the kids to drive while they shop. This particular day, a few weeks ago, the snow was so heavy and intense that not only was school cancelled, but so was my grocery delivery. I would have to go to the store with my daughter. As usual, I walked in praying that a Caroline cart would be available, and thank goodness it was. Strapping my daughter into the seat, it has a five-point harness, I started shopping. As usual, my first stop was the bakery to get a free cookie. They always hand them out to kids. I noticed right away that there was a lot of kids there that day, and assumed that many parents were like me, saddled with their kids during the snow day and unable to get grocery delivery. The bakery was hopping and there were a number of parents and kids waiting for a new batch of cookies to be ready. One of the mothers seemed particularly harried and I cannot say I blame her. Her daughter, around age 5, was having a meltdown. She was angry, crying, shouting, demanding a cookie. They aren't ready yet honey, we just have to wait. Noticing the glances of everyone around her, she looked defensive but apologized saying, I'm sorry, she's very tired, it's past her nap time. No one said anything. We were all parents, we understood. My daughter did not like the noise and as she often does when she is irritated, she was stimming. That is, flapping her hands or pushing a fist into her ear over and over. I got out her Minnie Mouse phone and handed it to her and she calmed down and started playing with it. Looking over, the entitled mother saw us and looked inexplicably relieved. Oh thank goodness, that cart wasn't there when we came in, do you mind if I use it? Entitled kid is exhausted. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, but my daughter actually needs it. She's disabled. The entitled mother blinked and looked at my daughter, playing quietly with her toy. She doesn't look disabled. What's wrong with her? Can she walk? 
I was flabbergasted at how insanely rude that was. Uh, yes, she can walk, but she would run off in a hot second. I can't hang on to her and shop at the same time. So, you're using the disabled car because your daughter doesn't listen to you? Look, she's much older than my little girl and seems fine. We really need that cart. She started coming over and I protectively pulled the cart closer to me. Um, no. She has autism. Jesus, everyone has autism. That's not a real disability. I was pretty pissed at this point. The cart is for disabled children, like you just said, not sleepy children. Why don't you use a car cart? There are any car carts. Besides, I can't see her in that. Just let me use the cart. The shouting upset my daughter again and she started doing the thing where she punches her ear over and over. It was the first time she looked abnormal and the woman looked visibly distraught and sort of grossed out. By now, other people were paying more attention and this wonderful older woman said, Ma'am, autism can be a very severe disability. Look, you're upsetting the little girl and the cart is for disabled children. You need to stop now. I decided to skip the cookie and just leave, so I turned the cart around and walked off. No one stopped me, but the older woman saw us waiting in line and insisted I go in front of her so I could get home. My little girl was at that point possessively clutching the string to a helium balloon I was intending to buy. But... I was debating how to get it away from her so it could be scanned without making her flip out, because you can't just take stuff from her. The woman saw my struggle and reached out to tear the scan code sticker off the string and put it with her purchases. I've got it. She winked at me and my little girl and said, I think you could use a little extra kindness today. Uh, oh no, it's an $8 balloon. Really. I insist. I thanked her profusely and left with tears in my eyes. Touched. I love it when people try to make my day a little easier. Uncensored audio warning. What the entitled mother did is on the same level as parking in a handicapped parking spot, because the logic that she's using is that, oh, well, it's marked with a disability sticker, but I can still use it because it makes my life easier. That's not how it works, Karen, you fucking disgrace. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe and ring the notification bell if you enjoyed this content. And until then, I'll see you next time.